Hello friends, welcome to Vidich Academy. And now we are going to discuss an example under the concept pair of straight lines. So let us consider an example that is we need to show that the product of the perpendicular distances from the origin to the pair of straight lines which are given by this equation is mod c divided by under root a minus b whole square plus 4 h square. So as this is the given equation, let us consider it as equation 1. And now let us consider this equation is equal to L1x plus M1y plus N1 into L2x plus M2y plus N2. Let us multiply both the terms. So by multiplying L1x with the group, we get L1 L2 into x square plus of L1 M2 into XY plus of L1 N2 into X plus of now let us multiply M1 Y with the group so we get M1 L2 XY plus of M1 M2 into Y square then we get M1 N2 into Y and now let us multiply the group with n1. So we get L2n1 into x plus of M2n1 into y plus of n1 n2. And now let us try to simplify this equation. So we get L1 L2 into x square plus of and now let us group xy term. So we get L1 M2 into this term also contains XY. So we get L2 M1 into XY plus of M1 M2 Y square plus of now let us group the terms containing X. So these are the terms and we get L1 N2 plus of L2 N1 into X. And now let's group the terms containing y. So here this is one term and here this is the second one. So we get m1 n2 plus m2 n1 into the common term which is y plus of the constant which is n1 into n2. And now let us compare equation 1 with this equation. So here the coefficient of x square is e. And here we get the coefficient of x square as L1, L2. So that implies we can see that the value of E is equal to L1 into L2. And similarly, we get 2H is equal to L1, M2 plus L2, M1. And here we get the value of B as M1, N2. And then the value of 2G will be equal to this term, which is L1, L2 plus L2, N1. And 2f will be equal to m1 n2 plus m2 n1. And c, that is the constant term, will be equal to n1 into n2. So therefore, we can say that equation 1 represents l1x plus m1y plus n1 is equal to 0. So let us name this as equation 2. And the next equation that is L2x plus M2y plus N2 is equal to 0. And now let us name this line as equation 3. And here as the condition is, we need to find the product of perpendicular distances from the origin. So let us assume D1 be the perpendicular distance from the origin to the equation 2. So let us remind the formula to find the perpendicular distance from the origin which is given by mod c divided by under root a square plus b square. So by using this formula and substituting the value of c which is n1 divided by under root a square that is here in this case we get l1 square plus of m1 square. So this is the value of d1. And now let us consider D2 which is nothing but the perpendicular distance from origin to equation 3. So its value will be equal to mod N2 divided by under root L2 square plus M2 square. And then 
we need to show the product of these distances that is d1 into d2. So by multiplying we get mod n1 into n2 in the numerator divided by under root l1 square plus m1 square into l2 square plus m2 square. And now let us multiply in the denominator. So that implies we get here mod n1 n2 which is nothing but the value of c. So it is right mod c divided by under root and here by multiplying we get l1 l2 whole square plus of l1 m2 whole square plus of m1 l2 whole square plus of m1 m2 whole square. So here these terms are in the form of a square plus b square. So by using that formula we need to expand. So that implies we get mod c divided by under root and then by considering this term as e and this term as b and using the formula of a square plus b square we get a that is l1 l2 minus b which is m1 m2 whole square plus of 2ab that is 2 into l1 l2 into m1 into m2 plus of and here these terms are considered as a square plus b square and using that formula we get l1 m2 plus m1 l2 whole square minus 2 into l1 l2 into m1 m2 and here let us cancel the terms containing the opposite signs so that implies we are left with mod c divided by under root and then by substituting the values of l1 l2 which is a minus of m1 m2 which is b whole square then plus of here l1 m2 plus m1 l2 is nothing but the value of 2h. So we get here 2h whole square. So that implies we get here mod c divided by under root a minus b whole square plus 2h whole square is nothing but 4h square. So this is nothing but the condition what we need to prove that is nothing but the product of the perpendicular distances d1 into d2. Hope you understood the concept. For more videos, visit our website, Vidich Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.